to begin again. <laughs> the Lord speaks of peace to his people and his holy ones and to those who turn to him. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Prepare ourselves for this celebration. We're reminded very much of many people being true followers of Jesus would have to suffer and die terrible deaths. We pray for all those people today who's in that situation where because of their fervent following of Jesus, they're being punished. Let us pray for them and ask the Lord to help us to face up to our responsibilities of true followers of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are the model shepherd who cares for each member of the flock. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the first to be raised from the dead. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. What I, John, saw in heaven was a great and wonderful sign. Seven angels were bringing the seven plagues that are the last of all, because they exhaust the anger of God. I seemed to see a glass lake suffused with fire, and standing by the lake of glass, those who had fought against the beast and won, and against his statue, and the number which is his name. They all had harps from God. They were singing the hymn of Moses, the servant of God and of the Lamb. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are all your ways, King of nations. Who would not revere and praise your name, O Lord? You alone are holy, and all pagans will come and adore you, for many acts of justice you have shown. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. How great are your wonderful are your, all your works, Lord God Almighty. Sing a new song to the Lord for his work wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hills ring out their joy at the presence of the Lord. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. For the Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and peoples with fairness. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. Alleluia, alleluia, stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Men will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to imprisonment and bring you before kings and governors because of my name. And that will be your opportunity to bear witness. Keep this carefully in mind. You are not to prepare your defense because I myself shall give you an eloquence and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relations and friends, and some of you will be put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name, but not a hair of your head will be lost. Your endurance will win you your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Men will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to imprisonment and bring you before kings and governors of many nations. And of course, the first 300 years of the church, a lot of this went on. Many, many men and women were martyred before their faith, for their belief in God, for their belief in the message Jesus had given them. And we're told and we read, lots of them were full of joy and happiness at the thought that they would be rewarded in God's kingdom, that they were prepared to face the terrible punishments that they had to go through and be killed, all because they were spreading the message of Christ. Christians were bad, a bad name in those days. But the church continued to grow. People continued to join with Jesus. People had faith. And we pray that each and every one of us today has that same faith, that we are prepared to do all we can to show that we are true followers of the word of the Lord. Jesus tells us that endurance will win, our li win us our lives, our lives in the kingdom of heaven. But it's for us to be strong, to be faithful, to be true to the word of the Lord. And we pray for the many, many people who suffer because they take this stand. Let us pray that we also take that stand right to the end of our lives and we pray that we too will be rewarded with the great promise that the Lord has given us that we will be with him in his kingdom. And so we pray today for the repose of the soul of Patricia Nucasey, whose anniversary it is and for whom we're offering this Mass. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. And let us pray for the many martyrs of today who suffer because they want to be true followers of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, our priests, our seminarians, our deacons, our religious, all who are trying to spread the word of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We pray for our young people. We pray especially those who are finding it hard through this virus of coping and that they will turn to their friends, turn to their teachers, turn to their parents for guidance and not hold it within them that they do something sad at the end. We pray for them, Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We pray too for all our sick, 
We remember especially Cyril Joseph Sullivan from Australia, who is very seriously ill. We pray for Father Stuart Foster, Father John Laurent, both of our priests of our diocese who are not well, and pray for all the sick in the parish. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We pray, too, for those who have died. We ask you, Lord, to welcome them into your kingdom. And we remember especially all the names of our friends and loved ones in our November lists. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We ask Mary now to pray with us and for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God our Father, give us the courage and the strength always to face up to our responsibilities of being full members of the family of Christ, so that each and every one of us can spread the good news around and encourage others to join us. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed ye Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed ye Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities. Cleanse us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commandments through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The same is command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you all very much and have a nice day. And to remind you, there will be exposition of the Blessed Sacrament of Private Prayer at 6 to 6.30 this evening. Tomorrow morning, there will not be a 7.30 Mass, as I will be saying the Mass tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock for all the names on our November lists and for all those who passed away in our parish in the last 12 months. Thank you.